Overnight tonight, it stays muggy. A few 60s north and west, most of us in the low and mid 70s. Highs tomorrow, a degree or two hotter than they were today in the low and mid 90s. The feels like temps should be at or above 100 by noontime. And then during the afternoon, we may get a few areas to crack 105. So a couple degrees hotter, not only on the air temperature scale, but also the feels like temps for tomorrow afternoon. Sunrise is at 636. We should be near above 90 by noon. The high for Richmond tomorrow, 95 with a southwesterly wind and just a 20% chance of an isolated thunderstorm later in the day. We'll have a few showers and thunderstorms this evening, mostly across northern Virginia. Those will fade away tonight and tomorrow we'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine. A few thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon. The better chance will be north of I-64. And just like today, not all areas will see them, but the ones that do pop up will have some heavy downpours. We'll go through this again on Saturday. Starting to see a little indication later Saturday evening, make it a little complex of storms to come into the area. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Definitely some heavy rainfall, but a few of those storms may have some gusty winds, so we'll keep an eye on that for Saturday evening. This is Tropical Storm Ida. It's been developing very quickly, and it will likely become a hurricane in just the next couple of days. The forecast from the National Hurricane Center has it making a landfall Sunday afternoon. Slightly, slightly little misleading on this graphic. 110 mile an hour winds, a category two hurricane. 111 is category three, so this may be a borderline category three hurricane as it makes a landfall on Sunday along the Louisiana coast. And what's left of it should actually come up into the mid Atlantic. That should just be an area of low pressure with some rain, but it looks like that may impact us by about Wednesday. And if that does happen, we'll have a good shot of some rain. But in the meantime, low and mid 90s for highs, the heat index at or above 100 each afternoon with a few pop up storms possible each day. Rain chances really increase going into Wednesday. That combined with a front in the air will actually cool us back down into the mid 80s for Wednesday and Thursday.